Good morning, guys. It's another really beautiful day on the homestead, and today we have exciting things going on. We have some chicks hatching, so I'm gonna go show you those little baby chicks. These are the hatching eggs I got from Angela at Tall Weeds and Rust, and they're really, really cute. Can't wait to show you. Let's go see them. So my pepper garden has not done very well this year at all. Uh, the cayenne pepper seem to be doing really well and the jalapenos are doing okay, but I haven't gotten a single bell pepper and the habaneros look like they're shriveling up as well. I don't know what it is about this year that's different because every other year I've gotten so many peppers and I planted way more plants than I usually do. Um, and they're just as close together as they usually are I don't know what's different. I do know that I planted them earlier than I usually do and the June bugs really got them. So I'm not sure, maybe I just got the timing wrong. So um, some of them have a lot of new growth though, so I'm kind of hoping that it's going to level out and produce a lot more now that it's cooler and the June bugs are almost gone. So hopefully so, but let me know if you're having trouble with peppers this year also. I don't know. My parents' peppers look the same as mine. Like, they're not doing very good. I just planted bell peppers over there. So, like the cayenne, the bugs didn't bother those. And the jalapenos, they didn't bother them as much as, like, the bell peppers. So, we'll see what happens. What do you think, big boy? Are you a good baby? Baby's been playing in some mud puddles. She's a good girl too. Yes, she is. This is one of the boys' pumpkin vines. It's going really good. And I finally was able to get my rabbits out here. And they're doing great. She's still a little dirty from being wild out in the yard. This is my Cherokee tan squash or pumpkins from Deep South Homestead. They're doing really good. They're starting the trail now. Mm, this is beautiful. Mm. I, I love the leaves, how they look. They're really pretty. And then this row of cucumbers is also just starting to take off too. They started to trail up the cattle panel the way I want them. And they're doing really good. My tomatoes are doing really good. There's a lot of red showing up now. And it just rained outside, so I'm going to have a little snack in the garden. I really love eating in the garden. <laughs> Just grabbing food and eating it. Mm. This is really good. So, I planted several different types of tomatoes. And so far I like every single one and I'll probably uh, plant the same ones next year. So I've had several people ask me what a cucumelon tastes like. 
and I'm going to tell you. Um, a cucumelon, this little tiny cucumber melon thingy, tastes just like a cucumber and a watermelon with a tiny hint of lemon, in my opinion. And the bigger they get, like, mm, the more that mixture takes on its flavor. So I have a lot of cucumelon that are ready. It's kind of hard to see because there's so many leaves, that, but they're doing so good. I'm gonna try to fill a mason jar up and pickle them because that's one thing that I really wanna try. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I took apart a shelving unit that used to be in our kitchen, uh, separating the kitchen and living room. We hated it, so we took it out. And I'm gonna use these pieces to build a raised bed and a couple little boxes to go by the gate right there. Hey guys, so I am about to put the chicks in the brooder, the new little chicks. I had just cleaned out and reorganized uh, the small compartment in the brooder and it's all ready for them. So I'm gonna go get them out of the incubator very carefully and quickly because there's still eggs hatching um, and put them in the brooder and I can't wait to see them. I can't believe this. There's so many chicks here. It's crazy. So these are what's hatched out so far. I'll have to count them. Okay, there's 14 chicks so far. I saw several pips in the incubator still. So we're waiting on more. I'll probably wake up to a lot more in the morning. Uh, these are the mixed flock eggs and I'm pretty sure I see some well summers in there. So that's exciting. And they got their food and water and their heat lamp. They're gonna do great in this little brooder. And they do have neighbors. All the other chicks are there and they share this wire. They can't get through to hurt the baby chicks, but uh, yeah, they can. They can see each other and socialize. And I think it's gonna do great. My cat is in here, I need to shut this lid. I am going to go inside and go to bed. I'm tired, I've had a really long day of cleaning and just a whole lot of stuff. So I hope you guys have a great day and God bless you. And this is one of the reasons I had to put latches on the doors. My crazy cat.